Hello and welcome and let's do chapter number 21, which is the sixth module, page 116, characteristics of, no, no, this is absolutely actually further away in the new book, characteristics of new media. Wow, this is interesting. We're going to really do something very, very fun. And these are very short chapters. Now, one of the earliest questions that you can actually do in characteristics of new media is an in-text question which says, why do students use internet? Well, internet is quick, it's fast, it has accessibility, it has a lot of information. Internet is a new source, the new media we talk about. It is available. Very interestingly today, thanks to the, to, to the revolution of industry in India, the internet is a powerful medium of reaching out. And remember the IEE, information, education and entertainment. Are reading habits going down because of the advent of computers? Yes and no. Well, if it's a subjective question, less people are reading, but people are still reading. If you're reading a blog or a LinkedIn article or even a WhatsApp message, you're still reading something. So reading habits uh, have just diversified. This is what we can do. Reading habits have not gone down, it has diversified. What's a new media product called? In the world of internet, it's the website. So when you do an HTML, www, right? HTTP, www.google.com, right? It's a website that you're talking about. Well, this is just a question. What is uh, the parent worried about? The parents are worried about the new media is taking over the old media. Now, remember, remember, new media usually do not replace an old media. Rather, it improves on it. So you have to understand that the world today has changed a lot, but the change is good. A new, new media introduces a new word called multimedia. What is multimedia? So it has a lot of things together. One media, which has, you know, cartoons, moving pictures, sound and music, all of it in one, which is what we call a multimedia. And it is powerful because it uses the idea of interactiveness. So it is very interactive. You know, you send a message on Instagram, you get a like, a share, you get somebody put a comment there, a thumbs up, an emoji. It's interactive in nature. And this new media style is narrative style. So what are the features of new media? It has one of the key things is has interactivity. It has feedback. It uses narrative style. And this is what a multimedia is all about. So we share information and ideas when we communicate. Uh, that is essential in any form. Feedback. Uh, Ken Blankard says feedback is the, you know, uh, feedback is the breakfast of champion. And that is what we are looking into. This is good. New media uses a dash style. What is the style that new media uses? It uses an interactive or narrative style. And all these audiovisual voiceover animation graphics are today are called multimedia. And internet is a interactive medium. Very, very short chapter. So I'll try to do two today as we go ahead so that, you know, you know, most of it is, is you know, easy. Now, what is the idea of blogs? Blogs are basically what we call as online diaries. So, you know, people write blogs on fashion, on health, on travel. You know, I follow something called Bruce Passport, very beautiful travel blogs today. And they're very, very powerful. Now, the, the difficult thing about blogs are they usually don't have the same journalistic rule. You can write a blog without any editing and it'll just go the way. Sometimes it's offensive, sometimes, you know, it is taken out of context. So remember, blogs are the new way of communicating, but sometimes they don't have the same disadvantages or same limitations of a regular journalist piece of new media. What are the limitations of new media? Well, new media, as I said, it is unregulated. Sometimes, you know, you can search anything on Google and Google will not ask you if you're a child or a grown-up and it might give some results which are not appropriate for the new media. Blog writers are not bound by rules. Yes, it is a new media. Indian villages, people don't accept it. Of course, they use technology and they're very, very successful. Uh, companies are willingly opening up the websites for people to write. Um, no, not really. Uh, there is no credibility issue. Absolutely, there is credibility issue. And internet has become very popular among young people. Yes, because it's fast. So it's a very short chapter. Maybe the shortest that I've ever done. But remember, these are still powerful. Remember, these are LinkedIn articles, blog diaries, a lot of things that you can learn about in the new media. Hopefully, we will take a little bit and we'll take another chapter along with it. Uh, 
because it's a, such a short chapter, I thought I'll do quickly 22 as well. So now the new media is an industry in itself. Now, what you happen is if you see a lot of Shark Tank, you'll understand that there are people who are interested to invest money in new media. These big businessmen are called venture capitalists, VCs, right? So now you see the Sharks, Ashneer Grover and, uh, you know, Aman Gupta and all those people out there. They are VCs. They invest and buy a share and equity of your company. So people saw new media is rising. Uh, the venture capitalists realized that it could be a powerful medium because the youth are using it. Uh, it is growing industry. It is reaching out more than, let's say, traditional newspaper. You know, So that is why people are investing in new media. And that is the reason they are growing ahead. So, uh, okay. So what, uh, why are the venture capitalists invested in the new media? It's because it's a growing media and they support a lot of function. And they are the, especially the youth are interested and that's what they do. Now, the early web editions, very simple, was only for information. Now it has changed to multiple roles. Very interestingly, this is a word that you need to understand, a word called convergence. What is convergence? You see, the new media has several forms. So a new media like print, te television, radio will coexist even though the world has changed. So today, if you look at it, uh, there is newspaper coming in my home. I listen to podcasts. There is FM radio. There is television. You know, of course, if, if not for, at least for cricket, if it's on Doordarshan, there is OTT channels. And yet internet exists along with it. It's like the book will remain and the Kindle reading will happen. So there is a coexistence of these media and that is called convergence. Remember, it's a very important question in the short chapter. Remember the word convergence. Dash did not exist in uh, India. Well, uh, you know, basically it is just television did not exist or new media did not exist. The newspapers have changed their fonts, their ideas, their printing style, uh, the form, the fonts, a lot of things. Uh, this is in to survive the competition. Convergence means the coming of radio, television, newspapers together. And Dash form of communication does not. So an advanced or effective form of communication does not destroy the earlier form like newspapers are still there they've just improved on it what are the examples of new media well look at yourself today one of the key things in news media is customization for example if i only like cricket not just sports i only am interested in cricket i can go to an app called Crick buzz it only gives me cricket news right like that you have uh, articles only specifically for health and fitness you have for fashion, you have for travel, you have for politics, you have for movies. Now, there, is, there is a special edition, even a newspaper called the Bombay Times or wherever you are, only for that region. So these are the new areas we are looking into for customization of news. And then what's a social networking site? Well, you know, a site where multiple people come. Facebook is an example of a social networking site. So is LinkedIn for professionals, for his Instagram, for photo sharing. There is Snapchat and, and, and there is, you know, a clubhouse for the audio messages. So many things are happening. Also, there are online libraries where people have PDFs, eBooks, so people can immediately get a material. Google has started projects like that. And of course, there's online learning or e-learning. Like I'm start, I'm running an organization, Golden Square Hub Schooling, which is a full-fledged K-12 e-school using NIOS and, and soon IGCSE also. So this is a simple chapter, but a nice chapter. All the best. Good luck.